Here's a small detail about arrows that'll make a huge, huge difference. So let's, uh, let's watch these two arrows, see what you notice. Okay, I'm gonna let that down. This time I'm gonna shoot. Watch this one more time. All right, now, watch this one. You see it? You see it? Did you see it? big difference in flight too. All right, here's what I'm gonna talk about. What I'm gonna talk about today is knock pinch. So if you rewind that, take a look, you'll notice first arrow, drew back, nothing. Or first, second draw, nothing, right? It was nice. Third draw, new arrow. Did you see the arrow lift? Then when I did it again, did you see the arrow lift? So this all comes down to your knock fit. And when you have different arrows, you change to a different arrow, especially if you change to a different lighted knock, you need to pay attention to how that knock fits between your two knocking points or your D loop. That This is what's referred to as knock pinch. Because as you draw back and that string makes a triangle, it'll start to pinch it. If the new knock is a little bit wider or taller, depending on how you look at it, than, a, than another knock, then what'll happen is it'll squeeze it and it'll lift it off your rest. This is such an accuracy killer. It's a huge accuracy killer, especially when you start to shoot downhill because when you start to go down, it'll literally lift right off the arrow rest. So here's a couple different knocks. These are all just different lighted knocks. So some of them, I actually love the design of the lighted knock, but it does make me retie my knock points to where there is a little bitty space in there so that as this thing comes to full draw, it's not squeezing it so tight that it's lifting it off. So let me show you a few differences here. So here's one and it's got some ability for movement. It's pretty tight, but this would be, a because it has the ability that you can see here, it's, it's actually, dished out it has the ability to do that okay here's another knock it's actually same brand just different style so this one also has a little bit more space right here okay now another knock which i actually really really like when it goes in it just fits much tighter between those knocking points and you can see even halfway through, it's already getting, it's already pretty much tight enough. I haven't even snapped it on. So that's the difference on that first arrow that I drew back and the second arrow that I drew back. The only difference is how that knock pinches or how your knocking points pinch. So what you wanna do is you wanna be able to have a knock that when you put it on there, there is, you want to have a little bit of space, just a touch of space there, so that when you come to full draw, it takes that gap away so that the arrow doesn't have play. You don't want too much play, but you also don't want it pinching to where it lifts it off the rest, like I showed you in that first one. So I'll, uh, I'll do that one more time here. I'm gonna show you the difference. So let me 
when we put this knock in that is just a little bit too tight and you'll be able to see the difference here and again this is such an easy fix all you have to do is make sure that you have about a half millimeter to a millimeter of space and I like the space underneath the knocking point so that my top knock the arrow is always against that top knocking point which really is what I always set for my height and then the slack will come up from the bottom so here's the simple test for you to do draw back and if you see that arrow lifting off the rest just like that you see it lifting off then what you need to do is you need to get those knocking points repositioned and listen this is something that can easily happen as this serving gets wear and tear as it gets hot in your car you know at, you're pulling from above a center position so it's naturally pulling up all the time and as that serving starts to break in and where it can start to pinch such an easy thing to look at you can do the same thing pointing down if i pointed down with that same thing it would lift much higher off the rest in a whitetail stand 100 percent an accuracy killer such an easy thing for you to look at check your knocking gaps based on the knock that you want to take out with you hunting totally change the game and your arrow flight good luck I just walked down to get these arrows and I wanted to show you this too. So there's the difference. First arrow flew good. I told you it was in the middle. There's the second arrow and you can see a little low, a little left. It also had a little bit of wiggle to it. So it's critical that you check how your knocks being pinched because it will definitely, definitely, definitely affect your groups, affect your arrow flight. If you're shooting a fixed blade head, it'll magnify that inconsistent flight. So be sure to check your pinch. It's the easiest thing to do before going out to season. It's a simple fix. It'll totally change the game too, I promise you.